I'm Lee Morris and this is Patrick Hall. Join us behind the scenes as we film Photographing the World with Elia Licardi. If you want more information about either of the two tutorials that we filmed, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. In this week's episode, we have a brush with security, I almost lose my boots, and we meet up with some amazing photographers in Singapore. So this apparently is what the locals call the digital mall. I've been told there are 20 camera shops in this single mall. Never in my life have I seen this many camera stores? Probably my entire life combined, I've never seen this many camera stores. And they are all right next to each other. How do they stay in business when they all sell the exact same thing? Customer service? Yeah, and it locks, it's nice. We were talking about, I always love when things go past infinite yes, on the why, Nikon lenses. Why so do can, they do that? Because it's infinity plus one, it's much more powerful. Infinity. If you just want it to be blurry. Yeah. If you want to shoot God, you have to go past infinity and actually go into the, the beyond realm. After visiting more camera stores than I've probably ever visited in my entire life, Edward had some interesting food that he wanted us to try in the food court. All right, so this is uh, pig organ soup. Uh, I didn't think I was going to try it today, but here we go. I get a small piece of organ here. Oh, that's too much. All right, that's good. And what type of organ? You just don't even know. I'll tell you after you eat it. Oh, God. It's not that bad, right? It's good? Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. It's, very it's the stomach of the pig. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is mine now. <laughs> you gotta try this chicken soup. It's so good. It's like spicy. Try that. I just ate it. It's yeah. not. It's Why just, is that rolling? It's just chicken. I was recording that. And now I'm gonna it's get this. It's chicken. Look. Yeah. It's a bit spicy, but it's good. What is that? It's chicken. That is not chicken. That's chicken. That looks like intestines and stuff. That is not. It's just chicken. Now try the broth. I'm not gonna bite into a piece of that meat. Eat that meat. It's good. It's spicy. It's awesome. Now eat a piece of the chicken. I'm not eating. That's the intestine soup. <laughs> I'm good. And the meat. <laughs> it's a little freaky, but it tastes good. After everyone got their fill of pig organ soup, we headed downtown to our next shooting location, the Marina Bay Sales Complex. All right, so what's the plan here? I've been told we could get in trouble. Well, I think the gods on our side today. The gods? Yeah. The photography gods, okay. Yeah. Well, are we getting on an elevator? Where are we going to the roof? Where are we going? Yeah, just common area. So we're allowed to be there, but we're just not allowed to take pictures there. And, uh, not, not, exactly. not really. I don't even think we're allowed to be there. In, in, in what could go wrong? We're being watched right now on video cameras. And the second that we pull out our video cameras, you think somebody's going to come up here? Maybe. So, Lyle, what are you thinking about us filming you? We're going to... I think we just have to be a little bit more discreet about it and maybe... Totally discreet. Yeah, what, what does that even mean? Less tripods. Maybe, maybe you should, you know, first first get rid of the, uh, the Bin Laden beard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> should have told me that before I came. <laughs> so I've got my uh, 810 super clamped here to this railing and it is perched precariously. Now over this road time lapse here of all this traffic going in between the buildings. Whoa. How you feel about that right there? Okay, so what are your settings now? Auto ISO, auto shutter, F4, and then auto white hunt. Everything is pretty much auto except the aperture. Right. 
and you couldn't set the aperture to auto anyway. So now yeah, it's a manual. Is this one of the shots that you wanted to get, or are you just killing time? Uh, no, this is this is the shot. This is the shot. This is the shot. Because yeah. on balconies, you you can either clamp onto something, put your tripod into a ridiculous position that doesn't make any sense, or you can just extend everything with one nodal slide. We all could use a nodal slide. Couldn't we? Yes. <laughs> the world would be a better place. What I've done with the DA10 here is on my normal tripod here, I've actually added a nodal slide so that I can push the camera out a little bit further. Now since this uh, tripod is perfectly level and actually stable by itself, adding this nodal slide doesn't cause any extra instability because it's made to handle a lot of weight. So let's take a look at the two blue hour shots that I've captured. Now based on everything we've learned so far, this is going to be pretty self-explanatory so I'm not going to get into it in such great detail like I usually do. Instead, I'm going to show you guys something completely different, a shot that we haven't done before. So Lee is terrified of the thought of this being a really bad idea but I told him I feel better because it's his camera and I swear it's really solid it's so solid it is so so it's solid this might be the only time in this tutorial when I use the tripod the reason I'm using it for this shot is to get that extra perspective So far, security seems pretty cool. He's watching us film and he hasn't told us to stop yet. So what did he say? Well, I say that uh, we didn't break any rules. Uh, we're not filming the property. We are shooting out of the property, so that's okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> After we had been given the green light by security, Elia was able to knock out a really cool lesson where he puts a camera over the edge, shoots with a fisheye lens, and kind of captures a really unique vertigo image. So I can't believe it actually worked. We are not in jail. No. We're not being put to death. Well, you don't get pain. No caning. I'm actually a little disappointed. Have you known anyone to get caned? No. No, no not, in, not in my circle, but there are people who get caned. For what? What's a good vandalism. reason? Vandalism. Yeah, vandalism. This location proved to be one of the best views of the Marina Bay in all of Singapore, but according to Elia, there was still a lot of nightlife we had yet to see. We're going to the club tonight. I mean, will they let me in with these? They can't deny me. <laughs> That's for damn sure. They can't deny me. <laughs> Elia has this friend from Australia who lives here in Singapore, and he's apparently out of his mind. And whenever people go out with him, it always turns into a crazy, crazy night. Well, tonight is the first night that we're going to meet this guy, and uh, it's going to be the first night of this half of the trip that I actually have anything to drink. So, let's see how it goes. Really 20 or 25 percent alcohol. It doesn't have the burn. 25 percent alcohol. Well, the behind-the-scenes video is going to be better than the whole tutorial. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> oh! What is that? That's a squid. That's a squid. Yeah, that's that's a strange dessert. Who paid for this food? Victor did. Victor. Who? Oh, you oh. asshole. Did that that meet your uh, Charleston standards of excellent meals? Yes. Hell yeah. That was great. Yeah, this was better than the Korean barbecue in Charleston. For the majority of this trip, Aliyah has been trying to get me to stay out later, and I've been trying to convince Aliyah that we need to go skydiving. So, I'm very tired right now. That is not an excuse, and man. That is not the same thing. It's the exact same thing. No, we thought thing. that. It's like, if you're going to eat a giant cockroach... I'll eat the cockroach. If I go skydiving. 
I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> For me, this kind of bargaining has to be equivalent trade. I call it equivalent trade. You're going to eat a live tarantula. A live one? Now it has to be alive? I don't care. Like, you know, it's not my karma. That's going to be influenced like, by you, you must eating eat a tarantula. A unicorn. And then I'll and you know skydive. What? And you know what? Unicorn, that's some rare meat. While Lee and Elia were arguing about who was going to jump out of a plane, I was ready to jump into a car. You pay for taxi. Right. Come on. How are we going to fit in here? You can squeeze one in. Extra five dollars. Dude, there's no room here. Oh my God. There's no room. <laughs> you know what's really nice? <sighs> what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Slide on down underneath me. So, one of the rules of the taxi is everyone must be in a seatbelt. Yeah, but you... Really, not in the single. All right, this way. I'm learning more about Singapore in one cab ride than I had the whole time Elias had it here. I, I definitely feel inappropriate. I... When I'm, when I'm in Singapore... Why? Why would you feel like that? Wait, but I wanted to make sure you guys get every experience that you can out of Singapore. It's very important to me. Victor was such a party animal that he actually had partial bottles reserved from his last bottle service experience. All right, so you're telling me this is air conditioning outside. Yeah, so if you walk down this street on Clark E, it blows air con down into the street. Oh, I see, okay. Now the AC is coming. Ready for shots? Yeah, I think I've been doing that already. No, you've just been having soft drinks. Oh, I have? Dude, look at how they reflect into the... You ready to go to the club? I'm ready to go to the club. <laughs> Come on, do it, Jesus. Walk with us. It's pretty deep. Don't. Both, both boots. Yes. <laughs> then I pay off. Are you guys? That's Dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. That's why, That's why you burn him. There you go. Look at these women are so impressed. It's pretty impressive, right? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. What is going on? What is happening tonight? I don't want to get cane. My ass couldn't handle one cane in here. And this is where we're going. Where are we going? Even though Victor tried to kill us the night before, we ended up surviving. And although Patrick almost lost his space boots, I'm happy to say that they were safely in his possession at the end of the night. The next day we woke up and we decided to see what else Singapore had to offer in Little India. This is crazy. I've never seen so many people outside of my life. This is crazier than New York. As you can see from this footage, it's near impossible to walk down the street hand-holding a camera and get super steady footage. So we did something a little unconventional. We used our quadcopter's gimbal as a steady cam. This enabled us to get super steady shots of Elia as he walked down these hectic streets. craziest amount of people I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm glad I got to see Little India, but that's enough. Although this location never made the tutorial, Singapore is one of the largest readerships of f-stoppers, so we decided to do a meetup and hang out with some of the photographers there in the city. All right, we are doing a selfie stick portrait here. Is, is it long enough? Is that going to work? 
Oh, no problem. This so, is like the, probably the only one in, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's seriously. No, no, I saw my friend in Where do you want it? I just want it. So, what is this? Uh, this is a camera we are developing. It's still a secret. So and not anymore. No, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, buddy. Getting to meet so many different photographers in Singapore was one of the highlights of my trip. But this night wasn't over yet. They had some more interesting food that we had to try. <laughs> what is it? Ice kacang and watsu. I don't even understand what you're saying. All right. What's this on the top? Corn. Corn? This is really? Okay. Corn and syrup. Sugar syrup. Maybe that's what I'm tasting is the corn. <laughs> it's just some sticky stuff with uh, peanuts. Sticky stuff with <laughs> peanuts. Okay, so that is so weird. But it's good. What does that taste like? That is like a soft bubble gum. It's rice. It's a rice kind of day. That night we went to the top of the Sands building to see the incredible view, but the fun really started to begin once we took Alaya and Naomi down to the casino for their first crafts experience. This was your first craps experience. Absolutely the first, yeah. Never, never rolled or done anything yep. like that before. And what's your opinion of craps? It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I think you've converted us. This probably was some of the best rolling I've ever seen in my entire life. But my point is, it was impossible to not have fun because it was basically just printing money all night. We each made hundreds of dollars and we didn't buy in for that much and we weren't playing like crazy bets. So, I'm very glad that you guys had a good time for your first craft experience, but just don't expect that every single time. And if you if you are watching this video, you have to watch the video where they talk about the worst game that they had to. <laughs> don't worry about that. It's <laughs> important. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because next week we fly to Hong Kong and step everything up a notch. To learn more about this entire photography tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash Eliah